Hey everybody, welcome back. So we'll see what fucking he looks like. This okay. Is. I'm never gonna give up. Wait. I uh, okay, never mind, you didn't have anything worth saying. Galibo uh, must not be left of unborn, so make ready, we must away. Alright. Okay, so we can't up her. Extend the area of cold fission. That sounds like a good investment. Also, giving you more health. You have nine. Do they even, do they actually use their skills? I think they do. Deliverance. Projects a portal that sucks enemies in and sends them flying. That sounds interesting. Get that. There's up a terrible tornado that tears foes over a wide area. Now let's upgrade that. Alright, let's see what we're getting ourselves to do this time. Generators in place! Good work, boys, but it looks like we have more monsters to get rid of before we can switch it on. Let's get to work, shall we? <laughs> Tom Paddles, friends! One last push to reclaim Calibur. Hmm, got an odd feeling about this. I just think really bad's about to happen. Your premonitions have proven true before. We must remain vigilant until we can be certain the monsters have been vanquished. Savior. Cast share magic to restore MP. Violent vibrations, these thundering footfalls, they can mean only one thing an enemy of enormous proportions. To be more precise, a blue, one eyed giant with a single horn atop his bulbous head. Oh, oh you don't mean it. Oh. 
Place yourself in such peril. Behold, now he is perusing our direction. And what if he is? I will extinguish such a lumbering thunderhead with ease. Sarevna, please to desist with these needless braveries. This, as you see, is a gigantis and one of many hundred times your scale. <laughs> he is merely obese. <sighs> Besides, do you mean to inform your Sarevna that you are without belief in her? But of course, no, Sarevna. I, I have admired, uh, I mean, of course, witnessed at first hand many times uh... your. Hello. We were actually about to try and take that thing down ourselves. You do wish to belabor the fat imbecile? Then let us set about him together. Tsarevna, Elena, at your service. Now invert to combat! Should we delay or tarry, the town will surely be pummeled entirely to smithereens. Tsarevna, please to exhibit less reckless haste. To rush blindly inward is excessive folly. She's amazing. Huh? She just jumped straight on in there like it was nothing. <sighs> well, I'm no shrinking violet myself. <sighs> Inward to combat. Stay here if you want. I'm going with her. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, was it? You have my sympathies. Suffice it to say, I know how you feel. <sighs> Gigantes, fat off! I shall pummel and pound you. My strategy shall win the day. Sarevna, please to fall back. You are placing yourself into grave peril. She's not one to do as she's told. Eh? Her poor friend looks like he's about to have a heart attack. A real life warrior, princess. How ah! romantic is that? But we better not let us steal the show. Oi, Gigantes! Come here and get pummeled! <laughs> hmm. I fear this Elena may be something of a bad influence. Hmm. Have to get over there. Remember, friends, charging in blindly will earn you naught but a beating. Hit him where it hurts. Oh, hey, so you can Dragon Ball charge.
the lightning bolt right up his butt. Give me a monster medal. No. Oh. Losing was never an option. Nice work, everyone. We gave that Gigantes the hiding of its life. I am much impressed with your doings. Your assistance was great help. Likewise, without your aid, I fear we may have not been able to overcome such a foe. That Severina's horse playing is, was not inconvenient to you is comfort at least. But what is cause of such catastrophe and commotions here? What indeed, friend, what indeed. Our tale is a long and woeful one. Severina, Elaine, and Hero, was it? Will you tarry a while and hear it? Fate has brought us together. It would be uncommon foolish to squander such a chance. Perhaps we can be of use to one another. Indeed, I too was thinking identically. That's settled then, but let's not stand around any longer than we have to. Why don't I show you around the lab? This way. So, you said you were from somewhere called Zamoxva. Indeed, yes. I see. The thing is, there's no such place. Not in our world, at any rate. You mean, could we have become somehow displaced from our own world to another? Do not whimper so babyishly, Kirill. The thief we seek is present here. Whether it is our own world or no, this is where we must remain. But if you were to become harmed in such a place, I would, uh, your revered father... <laughs> Disregard his babblings. Would... These monsters, you say they were not always so much crazed, yes? Until not so long ago, the monsters and us were the best of friends. And then they just turned on us all of a sudden. And not just here, the capital where we live was overrun too. Having managed to avert a crisis there, we came here. Only to find the same sorry state of affairs. It seems safe to surmise that all the monsters in our world have mm. been affected. And why in heaven are we standing around pontificating? We must make haste and save my loyal subjects! Right. Hmm. Kirill! What say you that we accompany these fine heroes on their noble quest? Zarevna, we... Indeed, we must! We must! In accompanying with our new friends to all the places of this world, we are sure to eventually locate our thief! Hmm. My... Uh, oh, God. And just as I had at last become alone with her. <laughs> excellent! Excellent! With such stout-hearted companions beside us, our doughty band shall be all the stronger! Truly? <laughs> you truly wish it so? <laughs> 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 uh, this chamber, roiling and rattling. What can this signify? Seems she's ready for the off, Your Majesty. Mm. So the time has come at last to taste the fruit of your long years of labor, huh? Aye, that it has. Yeah, fuck it, just 
pick up the whole goddamn city and Time go. to fly, my beautiful stone cloud. Full steam ahead. Okay. I mean, that seems stupider. <laughs> if Final Fantasy can do it with Garden, then fucking Dragon Dragon Quest can do it with goddamn floating whatever. Wow, look, you can see the sky from the... W Hang on, are we up in the clouds? It would appear so. We were in the Institute only a moment ago. Could it be... Is the Institute flying? <laughs> Impressed? With a bit of ingenious magical engineering, what used to be the Institute's now an airship, the Stone Cloud. Now we're free to travel the world as we please. And there's no need to worry about missing out on creature comforts. We've got everything you need right here. It's a veritable skyborne citadel. <laughs> Though momentarily perplexed by these developments, I am now entirely impressed. Flying ships are very much wonderful. <sighs> we are aloft in the sky. We are truly aloft. What sickening altitude is this? You are too much worrying here. Surely, the sort of the skies is more satisfactory than to trudge across ground. Hooray! And behold, what joyful comrades we have encountered. We are maximally fortunate. But we were able to journey alone, merely the two of us. Oh god, I give in. Yes, Zavrida, we are very blessed. <laughs> Ura, friends, I offer you my gratitude and unstinting companionship. As too does Carol. <laughs> Welcome aboard. You know, I can still hardly believe how many friends we managed to make down in Caliber. Captain! We are fortunate indeed. And being now spoiled for traveling companion, we must nominate a select few to take it to the field when battle is joined. A select few? Ah! Yes, child. It is often true that the more the merrier. There are times when too large a band of companions can prove inconvenient, particularly in the field of battle. I see. But of course, too large a force will be spotted easily by the enemy, and too crowded a battlefield makes maneuvering more difficult. Truly commendable! Precisely, my boy. Excellent! Well, no time like the present. I uh, hereby delegate the responsibility of forming a party to you! What? Why me? Bring up the abilities of each of your allies carefully and forming a party best suited to the task at hand is an essential task for any skilled captain of men to master it. Ah! Think of it as a test. Well, get to work. <laughs> Good luck, Captain. Elena and Kirill join the party. Oh, so they both? Okay. I figured he was just gonna be... The cross-eyed freak was just gonna be, you know... A guy. Stringing, stinging attacks together is... Zevri Zevri whatever. El Elena stock and trade. Hold Y to make her knuckle sandwiches hit even harder. Her mega fast multi fist attack deals massive damage and a blistering barrage of combo boosting blows. Kirill is a skillful and surprisingly strong spear swinger with a far reaching triple strike and some other impressive abilities to boot. This dependable defender can use Kabaf to boost his buddy's defense and absolute goddess send in boss battles. To learn more about Elena and Kira's abilities, open up the menu and look at their shit. Nobody level up off that. Alright, well you... Let's see what you... Multi-fist. Okay. Divide and conquer. Create two copies of the caster in order to cause triple trouble. That sounds actually really nice. So she has multi-form technique. Divide and Conquer makes the doubles provided by Divide and Conquer last even longer. Hmm. 
Malstrom. Lightning Conductor... Whack. Buff extender. Sweet little slimes in the back. So it looks like we there's still a whip user Yangus. Someone who uses fans, great swords, a bow user, and uh. Okay. Accolades? I'm afraid we'd get to the open. Sorry, we're not open for business yet. Hello there, Ducky. Welcome to the orb shop. Have you heard of orbs? They're these newfangled, whatchamacallit, Islas invented to replace the armor everyone used to wear. Equipping them increases your defense, you see. Not just your defense, some of them have other exciting effects too, but you can only equip one at a time, so choose carefully. Anyway, I'm sure you're tired of me nattering on about the hows and whys of it all. Why not buy one and see how they work for yourself? Hello, Ducky. Plain orb. Offers the same protection as a suit of leather armor. I think I'm going to take her just because she has multi-form technique. Oh. 
all yours. Uh. Be lucky. Damn, she's got a lot of freaking. Oi, oi. Yeah. The world map here is what you'll be using to tell the stone color where to go, Captain. Not quite ready yet, though, so feel free to look around and talk with everyone in the meantime. Blah, blah, blah. Post office. My job take care of any letters or parcels that come for you. Sure, lots of people send you things over the course of your journey, whether just to say hello or thanks or to give you some big news. Don't forget to drop by and check. Right then, let's get hello started. There. Some post came for you. Pleased to meet you, Gaia. I've taken the liberty of setting you up with your very own mailbox. Not long now, and letters will be winging their way to you from all over the world. Check back regularly to see if you're really okay. Reports are flooding in from outposts across the kingdom concerning the current monster situation. It would seem that far from the monster's unprecedented behavior being an issue affecting the captain only, it is in fact occurring throughout all known territories. As such, it was assumed that the affliction is spread to all monsters and it's only a matter of time for settlements of the caliber and Arba or attack, Captain. We ask that you take your utmost care while investigating the phenomenon. You save caliber, is there anything you can't do but suave vibrato you exude would knock you sensitive to monsters? Simply superb. No scintillating. No scintillating. Sensational, even. You've got a fan for life in me, and that's for certain. A little bird tells me you're putting a lot of work into this world saving, Lark. I have to say I'm impressed. Not that I reckon you you a hope in hell, mind, but it, I appreciate hard gra graft when I see it. I've sent you a little something to help you polish up your skills. Don't make me regret it now, will you? And there's an item for you Even too. sent a parcel containing a slime splattered map. See you later. It would appear that our worst for fears have been confirmed. The monster of disbalance has indeed touched every corner of our realm. <sighs> but why is this happening? We've always lived side by side, and now suddenly they're attacking us all over the place. Come! Lest we forget, it's not merely people they're attacking. Their target and caliber appear to be the generator. Hmm. It would be... If we're merely a wild, unfocused rampage, they would not have focused on such a strategic target. It follows, then, that... <sighs> I'll take the short version, thanks. You mean that the monsters have some kind of goal in mind when they're attacking us, right? Yes. Yes, that or someone may be controlling them for his own ends. <sighs> Whatever the case may be, this is grave news indeed. We must, all, we must do all we can in our power to solve this most disturbing of mysteries. We must discover the cause of the monster's madness, and if necessary, who is behind it. <laughs> Hello there, Captain. Not to brag, but it's often said I'm the most well-informed person in the whole of the Institute of Ingenuity. Some of my little tidbits might come in handy in your quest, so feel free to pick my brains whenever you want. I promise you won't regret it. Hmm? Do you know that mechanical monsters are particularly susceptible to lightning attacks? Zapple and other spells are prevalent for frazzling the circuits. Just a little something to keep in mind. Welcome, child. Let us pray. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Goddess speed. Hey! You're the captain of the King Guard. Wow, show me some moves. It's flying in the sky! It's a flying ship! Just like magic! Amazing! This is, first time. this is my first slime on a flying ship! Captain! Welcome aboard the Storm Cloud! <laughs> I like saying that! Well, how do you like it so far? <laughs> it's amazing! It's like being in a normal town, but way up in the sky. It's almost like I'm dreaming. Hmm. 
I cannot comprehend that there was such a large vessel is able to remain airborne. What could possibly allow it to? Yes. Of course, the generator. <laughs> That's the one. The generator you helped me with is none other than the beating heart of Stone Cloud. Thanks. So it's all thanks to you, my gallant captains. My greatest invention so far couldn't have finished without you. <laughs> wow, well, I can't believe I'm on a flying ship. So glad I chose to visit the Institute today. Oh, <laughs> it's great it's great thrill to journey through skies. Let's make haste to our next destination. <sighs> uh, what unseemly attitude could we possibly be alone? Or altitude. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> I fear the other villages and cities of my fair realm. Come, we must spare no time visiting the next of my domains. When your preparations are complete, speak to the crewman in front of the world map. We must convene a council of war without delay. Welcome to Patty's place. For all your party planning needs, by which I mean, I'll uh, switch party members in and out and move them around for, for you too if you need me to. Seeing as you're here, why not take a little look and around? And what can I do for you? Oh, she's southern, okay. Yeah, then pick what you want to take with you. Here comes Sarevna! For Arba! can I help? Don't be a stranger. Hello, Captain. Everyone on the Soul Cloud says I've got a real knack for storytelling, so they put me in charge of recording your adventures. If you ever want to relive any of your finest moments, just say the word and I'll spin you a tale. You'll feel right, like you're right back in the action. Ah. Uh. So basically, he's like, hey, you want to watch the movies again? Salt of the Earth acquired. Captain, have you come bearing many medals? I do hope so. I'm the world's foremost medal enthusiast and collector, and I'm always looking for more of the shiny delights for my collection. And should you choose to bring them to me, I shall see that you are fairly rewarded. I have a range of fabulous items to offer and trade. Now, as you, as you are here, why not take a look at what I have to offer? Welcome, welcome! Oh. Let's see, five mini medals. Ah, uh, okay, so look, I guess they're not. Well, I think we'll just now. save these things up, so... Ahem. Ready? 
Welcome, welcome. I'm a friendly local alchemist that means I create accessories out of any ingredients you bring me. Ingredients I often drop by monsters and found in chests. And once you collect a few, bring them to me and we'll fucking cook them in a fucking crack pot here. Let's see what we can do. It's my grand opening. Why don't I give you a recipe and some ingredients to get you started? Quick gold ring recipe. Three bags of iron nails. Two pinches of salt of the earth. Okay. Ahem. Ready? A golden ring that fortifies attack on flying foes. A golden wristband. Eh, blast resistance. Actually have accessories? Oh, I thought I found some. Gotcha. Right, what random crap do I have for sale? Okay, so I can get them to sell. I already went through your like wares, so. Oi, oi. World map is what you use to fly at Stone Cloud around. Not quite. Fuck. Oi, oi. What do you mean it's not quite ready yet? Oh, wait. Aye, aye. Welcome aboard the Stone Cloud, Captain. I'm a researcher from the Institute. Well, I was. Now I'm Stone Cloud crewman. I'll give you a quick tour of the place. This will only take a moment. Toward the bow there, you'll find the bridge. The cockpit's down below there. On the bridge, you can look at the map of the world, which you can use to plot a course to the next destination. That's the door on the left of the Spanish place, where your allies will gather. You can go there and organize your party before setting out. We've got some other facilities too, but I think people who run them are probably better equipped to explain them than me, so why not do the rounds and have a chat? Aye, aye. Oh, and not all the facilities will be available yet. Don't worry, though. We're planning on getting everything up and running as soon as possible. Aye, aye. Who in the absolute mother of fuck do I have to goddamn talk to? Wow. Never in my wildest dreams would I have expected that the Institute was working on a flying ship. Where would we be without the Institute, eh, Captain? Who am I? I'm missing fucking retard. Uh. What's his name? The male hero. Aye, aye. Chief's achieved so much in the field of magic studies at such a young age. He's a shining example to, a, to all of us at the Institute. Oh, that's cool. Who am I still looking fucking for? You, dickhead. Hmm. I thought myself reconciled to all that was happening. But it was not until I came aboard the Stone Cloud and gained some time to think that I realized the gravity of our situation. Something terrible is happening in our world. Okay. I hate to say it, but yes, you're right. Come. Do you remember our pledge, Aya? Uh, <sighs> have you forgotten so soon? The pledge we made when we were both sworn as captains? We promised that we would do whatever it takes to defend our world. You're right! Oh, uh, right. Of course I remember. <sighs> Please, there's no need to pretend for my sake. We must si We must simply pledge anew. I solemnly swear that I'll do all within my power to seek out the cause of these disturbances and save our world. Got it. I will do whatever it takes to achieve this end and will never allow my resolve to falter no matter what may come. Yes. It's a deal. <laughs> it's flying. It really flies. 
This is a genius. She made a great big lump of rock fly. Now that's what I call magic. Quickly save. Welcome, child. Let us pray. Can I finally use this thing? Aye, aye. As you can see, the center priest of the bridge is the world map. I think showing you how to use it, use uh, how it's used a lot faster than just giving me a lecture. So why don't you go over and look? This is a detailed map of the realm created through the combined efforts of many scholars at the institute. And it's not just your run of the middle navigational chart either. Thanks to various ingenious mechanisms, you can plot a course simply by choosing a destination. Oh look, a new destination's been added. Whenever you discover a new place for the storm cloud to travel to, it will appear here on the world map. So, Coliseo has popped up on the map. Hmm? Then fate has decided our path. Which will journey there next? Cal Calicia? That's a city smack bang in the middle of the desert, right? The very same. It is a verdant oasis that thrives amid the arid waste. The combination of desert sands and fresh flowing waters makes for quite the spectacle. Of course, its most striking feature is the arena and its center. It is the greatest of its kind in the entire realm and has played host to many an epic confrontation. Oh, such fond memories. Ah, was it not the site of the Grand Tournament, which you triumphed some years ago, Your Majesty? <laughs> Aye, so it was. It is such grand events as these that have brought humans and monsters alike flocking to Calicia since time immemorial. Tis a bustling town indeed. This being the case, should some disturbances encountered elsewhere be occurring in Calicia, then we are in for a much greater struggle than we endured in Caliber. Caliber. That doesn't sound good. We better get down there and fast. Then it's decided, Your Majesty. Would you like to do the honors? Well, of course. Engines full in. We fly for Calicia. skills in a skirmish with a massive mob of monsters. Once you play the area, you can head back to any time to fight monsters there at your leisure. It's a great way to get extra experience, not to mention extra gold ingredients. Oh, one more thing. If you revisit an area, you can stay there as long as you like. Just use evac whenever you're ready to head back to Stone Cloud. Like, what, do I just get plopped down and go on a murder rampage and for as long as I want? I want to try out, uh, fucking the monk. Got it. I was lied to. 
I was told this was supposed to be a massive mob of monsters. Massive horde of monsters. So we can run a lap and see if there's any treasure to be had. Do I get experience for things that my monster metal things kill? Oh, there's a treasure chest. What do we got? And eh, we just got the thing. We must get experience for things that are metal scale then. It's odd. It says there's monsters here, but there's no monsters here. Huh. I 
Okay, so if you pick up the same, if you're full on monster medals and you pick up the same ones that you have, it heals them. say that's very profitable. Maybe we can find something more at the We topped off a level. All right, so they're not open yet. Have you come across any treasure maps on your travels? You might want to take a look at them if you have. They should reveal some very interesting caves in the world. I have pours over the slime splattered map. Fields of Gould. Fireplace. Bug Eye Boulevard. Things for a Fabulous Ring Challenge. So. I mean, we should at least check it out and see if we can find any treasure. We got, should have enough time. Loading screen, be, you know, barring loading screen. Sanguini. Huh. Don't let me down.
I would love for a vacuum, an item vacuum. God damn it, Windows 10, you piece of fucking shit. I just, oh, I summoned him, apparently. God damn fucking Windows 10. Oh. That's gonna fucking suck. As usual. Treasure. Seems like the enemy AI isn't particularly aggressive. The text is so friggin' small I can't even see what I'm getting. gonna be one of those things where the experience is not shared among party members so pick your favorite characters and stick with them kind of deal manky mud anyway that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time, and we'll check out the other city and maybe see about going into those uh, caves that we discovered. 
Later.